healing supports emotional healing through photographic arts and creative expressions for those living with pain, grief, fear, poverty, and stress. Here to tell us more is the founder of Cameras for Healing, Moda Sanri. Welcome to the show. Well, it's nice to be here, Gonzalo. Nice Excellent. to see you. Thank you. Um, before we get into the partnership with Million Dollar Bus, tell us what Cameras for Healing is. Cameras for Healing started in, uh, officially around 2006 uh, in Africa. And uh, basically, I started using the camera uh, to work with uh, youth or young people who were uh, having issues like major stress, dealing with stress and, uh, or trauma right. and things like that. And in this particular case, it started off with uh, victims of war and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then it moved on to uh, Haiti, where we're working with uh, kids that lost limbs during the, the, the earthquake yes. and things like that. Yeah. And now here, uh, locally. Uh, in Greater Moncton, and that's a really cool project. We started with uh, a lot of children, mm -hmm. uh, youth, uh, teenagers, and uh, now we're launching a brand new project that I'm really excited. It's called Images of Dignity, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm working through the uh, YWCA. Excellent. What is the Million Dollar Bus, and how did this partnership come about? The Million Dollar Bus, uh, they're from uh, Kelowna, British Columbia, and it's a uh, uh, they're traveling right across Canada and they're finding people like us uh, uh, who are trying to make a difference in their community um, and, and they just try to do campaigns to help them out mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we're doing right now. We're in, right in the middle of a campaign uh, to try to help uh, launch the project uh, with the YWCA, right. uh, Images of Dignity. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a project just that is we're going to be using photography uh, technically to give a voice Mm -hmm. uh, to people who are struggling, who could be uh, dealing with, of course, personal issues. Right. Uh, we all know the, those stories, but also with confidence and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we take them all on these journeys of visual arts uh, in, a, in, a, in a setting of, um, of uh, total confidence, mm -hmm. non-judgmental and all right. that stuff. And we create art, but to start a dialogue. So the camera becomes Absolutely. a voice. It's very powerful. Mm -hmm. And uh, we... Uh, we uh, really make a difference. And That's incredible. Yeah. Yep. I'm amazing. Yeah. Um, so why the partnership with the YMCA? Uh, it's the YWCA um, it's the, of Moncton. It's, it's because it's women. It's all women uh, that are uh, dealing with uh, some pretty substantial mm -hmm. issues. And when I was working with the, uh, the kids uh, through the Moncton Boys and Girls Club, mm -hmm. Um, what started to happen there is as I was coming to the end of the project, uh, the uh, director, uh, Michelle Nadeau mm -hmm. uh, of the YWCA, well, she's right into photography and she understands photography and she understands the power of photography mm -hmm. or art. And uh, so one day I just bumped into her and I said, there it is. When I saw her, I said, there's the, the project. So I just that pitched it to her. spirit. Yes. And uh, I approached her with the, uh, the idea. And... It's nice because at this stage of the game for me, I didn't have to explain too much the project. The mm -hmm. project is well known here in Moncton right. and what I'm doing internationally. So mm -hmm. uh, she embraced it right away, like right immediately. And now that we're in the full campaign mode with, mode with the million dollar bus, mm -hmm. um, it's really something else because people are now talking about it and we're, we're being public. Right. And uh, so women are, even women that are not involved with the YWCA, they're actually contacting us to be part of the project. Mm -hmm. I just got a, a, a message today uh, from a woman uh, who, at 33 years old, she's dealing with some, some issues with confidence and mm -hmm. depression and things like that, and she's begging us to be in the project. Amazing. So we're getting a lot of people coming in and asking to be part of the project. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really cool. And uh, so if you want to know more, go to milliondollarbus.com or camerasforhealing.com and you'll see our logo or our uh, images of dignity and you can donate right there. We do appreciate Perfect. the help. Absolutely. Uh, because it's a project, the projects that I do are, that I do are not cheap <laughs> because I, I, I give yeah. brand new cameras to everybody and they mm -hmm. keep the cameras and right. we take them all over the place. And uh, so uh, check it out. Do you find social media is, is helping you to promote that? Because I, I, I'll be honest, I see it quite a bit yeah. on, on Facebook and, right. and different. So do you find that that's kind of helped pushing this oh, forward? Oh, there's, there's no question. Uh, social media, I'm not a social media guru. I know how to use it, right. but I'm 
pretty basic. Mm -hmm. But Mandy and Randy, uh, Mandy and Randy, <laughs> sorry, Mandy and Ryan mm -hmm. from the Million Dollar Bus, uh, they are right up there with technology. And my uh, my colleague Karen Casey, mm -hmm. uh, she's right up there again with technology. So mm -hmm. between all of us and Karen. Uh, we're just rocking and rolling with media. And th that's the way everybody now, it's all social media. Yes. Uh, so that's true. the way. So uh, even with this particular project and the past mm -hmm. projects, we were, um, you know, we post the pictures, mm -hmm. we post what people do. The artwork that ends up being created is really spectacular. We're very proud of it. Mm -hmm. And we finish off with a little banquet and a public exhibit. And just that right there, you know, it's just imagine, you know, having your pictures yes. all on the wall and things like mm -hmm. that. And people buy the pictures. It's all part of the, the, the growth. Yeah, okay. the confidence the and that confidence. kind of boost. Yeah. Absolutely. So. How can photography bring healing to someone dealing with issues like pain and poverty? Well, it's, that's, uh, that's, that's a great question, actually. And that's exactly the foundation of the project. And how that works is, for an example, in a setting of uh, when we first start out, the first thing I have to do um, is build trust. Mm -hmm. We have to build trust right off the bat because um, I'm going to use the kids for an example as the example. Right. Uh, when I started with them, they all told me the same story. We've been lied to, hurt by adults. Oh. Every adult we know. Mm -hmm. right. So I have to get over that mm -hmm. through them so they have to trust. Right. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Once we did that, uh, we give them very specific projects. It's, it's too long to explain right now, but it's very specific <laughs> projects. But what starts to happen is once we put the pictures up on the screen, we ask them, well, why are you interested? What brought you to that? Mm -hmm. It's very simple questions, but what starts to happen, right. it becomes very personal. Yes. Because if you take a photograph of a certain thing, mm -hmm. I take a photograph of the same thing, we're going to have two different approaches. Yes. So yep. based on my experience, based on yours, we're going to have two different things. So I start talking about why I approached it that way or why I picked a subject mm -hmm. that had blue in it. Right. What happens to be my favorite color or whatever the case may be. But then it becomes very comfortable to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But what starts to happen is, let's say I talk about something and then you're in the group and you go, I live about the same thing. I, I understand what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel comfortable talking. Yes. And then it breeds the conversation. So it becomes a really deep, deep, deep emotional mm -hmm. dialogue. And then people start talking about their issues of right. what hurts them or how they feel and the whole thing. And we create projects around that mm -hmm. using photography to get that ball rolling, for lack of better words. Uh, but it, it really is powerful. Mm -hmm. And it builds sort of an atmosphere of healing, <coughs> it sounds like. It sure does, because what happens, too, is, for an example, uh, so far in all my projects, and I did quite a bit, uh, whether in Africa or here, uh, the people bond pretty tight, mm -hmm. uh, and they help each other out, right. and then they start protecting each other. You know, so one will help another. And, and even with this particular project, it's not just about taking photographs. Mm -hmm. For an example, we're also going to teach them. Uh, I'm making a, a deal with uh, Sobeys that wants to participate. Mm -hmm. And we're going to teach cooking. Amazing. Right? Uh, you know, and a lot of some of these people, especially people who are dealing with poverty, mm -hmm. you go to a, a grocery store and you'll see, you know, five of this particular product. Five of them for five dollars. Mm -hmm. Not the best for health and all that stuff. Right. So how can we turn this around? So we're going to have a chef coming in to show how to do very good, basic, healthy eating right. for their family, for their children, for mm -hmm. themselves, mm -hmm. and things like that. So we incorporate that. We incorporate exercise. We incorporate animals. We're going to work with pets and dogs and horses wow. and all kinds of stuff to get them to love something else yes. you see so mm -hmm. there's a whole process i could talk about this all night <laughs> but it, it's 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 a process so that's why my projects don't just last uh, a few days mm -hmm. they they last months right and years right mm -hmm. so uh and we just grow so this particular project i'm already have some really interesting actually i think pretty brilliant women <laughs> participating in the project mm -hmm. that have quite a story Quite, yes. quite the story. Mm -hmm. But what I'm hoping is from that growth, when we start project number two, mm -hmm. these women will come help me with. Right. See? Yes. So they become mentors. Mm -hmm. And just that elevates again. Right? Yeah. So that's kind of what it is in a nutshell. But it's, 
it's deeper than that. Right. It's just very deep. Yeah. Um, last quick <coughs> question: uh, Where can people donate? Well, the best way right now, because we're in full, full campaign mode to try to help the project and raise money, is if you go to cameraforhealing.com right. or the milliondollarbus.com, you'll see the uh, the, the, the we uh, they made a beautiful video and it explains the project. There's mm -hmm. one of the participants on the project, and right on top, donate. Perfect. And you get a tax receipt. Uh, you can donate $10 or you can donate $100, it doesn't matter, but we really need the help of the community mm -hmm. uh, to make this project work. And I think uh, it's a project, and I know I'm biased, but it's a project that I think the community um, can have, Absolutely. that can make a difference. Yeah.